Um, my name is Nikki Buxton and myself and my partner Jerry Lardo, we moved to Belize in 2003 and we founded Belize Bird Rescue. Bird Rescue primarily is a facility for parrot rehabilitation that has expanded to include all species of birds in Belize, all indigenous species that is, um, and we rehabilitate with a goal of release. That's our, our primary goal is to always to release a bird and then we provide a sanctuary for the released birds as well. Right now we've got 172 birds, most of them are parrots. Uh, we have a couple of aracories, some raptors, some water birds. When we first came here, we realized that there was a massive problem with parrots in captivity. And when we spoke to forest department, it, it became obvious that the, the issue was that not the lack of enforcement, it was the lack of places to put the birds once they were confiscated or surrendered. So we offered ourselves up as a facility to do that, working in conjunction with the forest department. And we also work with the yellow-headed parrots, which is the endangered species in Belize. And we've done quite a lot towards conservation in conjunction with an awful lot of other organizations. The confiscations come through the forest department. We don't have the jurisdiction to do confiscations. We uh, we're here for people if they want to surrender their bird. We get a lot of people that are leaving the country or they have health issues or they no longer have the room in their house for a parrot and they will surrender the bird to us. And then members of the public may, you know, you may be walking along and a bird gets hit by a car or you're on the beach and you see a pelican in trouble or something. People call us up and we will talk them through trying to contain the bird and put him in a box so that we can get there and pick him up or even they come and drop them off sometimes. typical process for right across the border species. If you're talking about parrots, when they come in we do a physical assessment on them and they move through uh, a series of enclosures from starting very small so that we can assess their health, their overall health, make sure they don't have parasites, infections, anything like that. Then we introduce them to others of their kind and then it can be up to well anywhere between two and eight years, nine years, depending on the species and the level of imprinting on humans before they can be released. But if you're talking about like things like arasaris, songbirds, raptors and stuff, their rehab program is a lot, lot shorter. Well, of course we love donations. We love monetary donations because that covers absolutely everything. But if you have a farm and maybe you have some oranges or coconuts or any other uh, seasonal fruits, mangoes, papaya, banana, plums and apples and stuff, then we were very, very happy to take those off your hands. You can go to Rhymers and donate sunflower seeds through any of the Rhymers seed mills throughout the country. Uh, you can give consumables like washing powder because we get through so many towels. We can get through 30 or 40 towels in a week changing them out underneath the birds. So washing powder, um, dish soap, Clorox, anything like that that we might be able to use. Old newspapers, phone directories. So yeah, there's a bunch of things that people could donate, not just money. And you could donate time. If you want to come volunteer, we'll have volunteers anytime you like. Come and scrub out cages and clean up parrot poop. It's all yours. <laughs> I'm Nikki from Belize Bird Rescue. I uh, just want to say if you do come across a bird that looks like it might be in trouble, it's injured, it's not walking properly, it's not flying properly, you can give us a call on 610-0400 and we'll try and talk you through helping it or we'll come out and see what's going on. You could call 0800-822-8888 which is a free phone from Digicel so you don't even have to spend your money doing it and um, if you want to come volunteer you can use either of those numbers to help uh, to give us a call as well. 
and let's go believing.